We're here working on this 2020 SI coupe with a PRL Motorsports big turbo kit. And I want to show you guys how to set your wastegate because there seems to be a lot of questions on how to do it and a lot of people get different codes associated with the wastegate when they drive the car. So on this Maxisys, you'll see that the computer's been reset. I had unplugged the wastegate actuator and then plugged it back in. So what that does is it stops the power from going to the motor to try to hold it open or closed. So the learned value is zero and the learned information is not complete. And right now, let's say that you just put your turbo kit on and with the wastegate closed, you close it by hand. Let's say that it's reading 2.8 volts. You want to get that down to 1.3 volts with it closed. So once you adjust your nuts and your arm and you physically close it, you should be getting a reading of 1.3 volts. So then what you want to do is go into your car, reset your computer, and then attempt to start the car. Once the car is started, shut it off and you'll notice that the learned information is complete. That will stop you from getting the one code. Now the two most common codes you're gonna get with this is the P003A, which is wastegate position exceed learned limit. But what it really means is the wastegate position has never been learned because it hasn't fallen into that 1.3 volt area. So it will never learn and keep throwing a code. Even though you reset the computer and drive, you're still going to end up with a code and you can get the P0046 code which is range performance because it's basically saying we don't know what's if you wanted to actually probe it if you don't have a scan tool that's capable of reading the volts and all that this is the plug and these are the colors for a type r and these are the colors for an si um, you're shooting for 1.26 volts to 1.43 volts and that's why I said to shoot for 1.3. And that's with you holding the wastegate closed and having the actuator completely adjusted. Um, you would need, you're gonna need to probe three and four. And that's where you're gonna get your voltages from. That's key on, engine off. And remember, when you first start this process with the key on, unplug your wastegate actuator and plug it back in. And it should stop buzzing 
and that way you'll be able to manipulate it with your hand with just a little bit of pressure. And once you're done with all this, just reset your computer again and start your car up and see what happens. On the startup, it should complete the check and it should set the closed voltage. If you guys have any questions, just hit me up on Instagram at Gotslicks.